everyone, I'm making this video. I'm calling my Journey to Motherhood series Picture Me Momming. And I don't know, I just, I crack myself up, but I, I just think it's funny and I love it. And I have been trying to picture myself a mom for a really long time. I think it just goes well. 33 years old and gonna be a mom for the first time. And I don't know, I guess I thought at this point I would feel ready, right? Cause it's like, you know, like, the ideal time to have a child you know according to society not that there's an ideal time but i don't know i just I, I guess i just had this thought of i'm gonna be ready by that time before i'm 35 anywhere between 33 and 35 I've, i'll definitely be ready and i think um what is becoming clear is just how much everything is becoming about the baby and regardless of where i am in the pregnancy everything every decision every thought has the baby behind it even if it, i'm not focused on you know the baby in that moment it's like you know making a decision about what to eat what not to drink <laughs> um you know just decisions that are for the baby are just very very present and just getting more and more present there's a whole lot of planning um and looking ahead trying to figure out what is this month going to look like before the baby's born during my pregnancy what am i going to need to be aware of is it a good idea for me to travel that month a lot of it is is guessing and kind of going with your intuition and going with your thoughts and not necessarily really knowing just kind of going by my my midwife's recommendation or google's recommendation or other people that i know that have been preg pregnant's recommendations but at the end of the day like this journey from what i'm gathering and from what i can tell is really really different for Every woman sure there are similarities you know there are certain things that are considered normal or common in in pregnancy and in motherhood but it just seems as though no matter what I do the planning it's like I can't think too much about it because I don't know how I'm gonna feel that month I think that's what I'm saying is that planning has changed dramatically you know not to mention the month like once I actually have the baby right so like looking beyond the due date of when the baby's coming thinking about what it's gonna be like then what I'm going to need again you can read up on you know recommendations and you know whatever but the reality is is that everyone's experience is different and we also have to figure out what we actually want I think that like a lot of people go into like a robot mode of okay this is what's expected of me this is what I need to plan around or expect to happen to me and I'm just not really into that I really like creating my life and not allowing others to create my life or allowing a dominant experience that society portrays to be my reality and so it's been an interesting experience for me because all of the planning ahead of course has the baby in mind but i'm also trying to balance it out right so part of my purpose in life i believe part of my career that's building is really about revolutionizing self-care and you know I, I talk about the self-care of the future being a lot about energy and healing yourself and taking care of yourself and that being the best thing you can do not only for yourself but for everybody in your life and creating your own health and taking responsibility for your own health and understanding that that your body knows what it needs your body knows how to heal itself um, we have access to what we need and we don't have to be told necessarily and so with that said trying to keep up my self-care regimen while i'm pregnant and anticipating doing it while when i become a mother and not completely losing myself to the baby and to motherhood is is a concern that i have i know that it's not going to happen um i think the biggest important thing is support right and so i'm in a partnership you know i'm married to a person that um really wants to support me and i really want to support them and self-care is important to both of us and neither one of us want to lose ourselves in becoming parents and we don't want to lose partnership or our relationship and and the way that that we connect we don't want to lose that either and so balancing okay we can you know protect 
our our need for time alone we can protect our need to take care of ourselves and we can be great parents and we can show up fully to the baby and to the baby's needs and and it all can be done and so i think that there's just a lot out there that sends the message that your whole life is over when you have a baby and so um i've just been doing a lot of laughing and a lot of thinking about that and a lot of okay yeah so what ways are is that actually true what, what ways does that feel true for me? What fe what ways can I, you know, kind of balance things out so that I can maintain my belief system and in my in my um, integrity around self care and around the ways in which I believe I can be the best parent, which which is in being. A healthy mom being a healthy woman you know being that example for my child because I want my child to see me taking care of myself and taking time away from them and realizing the importance of that and so that they're able to do that as well um, when they when they're older so it's um, a lot of so I'm still learning to use the camera and the battery or whatever totally died on me in the middle of talking to you guys so I'm just here to say I think I made my point and thank you for watching the video if you like the video drop a comment below um, let me know your thoughts on the topic and I look forward to more of this picture me momming flow with you guys and Lucky is too right Lucky yeah she's not that excited about me being a mom because she wants me to be only her mom